In this video, we're going to take a look at a LECO problem called Construct Binary Tree from Pre-Order and In-Order Traversal. So given two integer array, pre-order and post-order, uh, where pre-order is the pre-order traversal of a binary tree, and the in-order is the in-order traversal of, a bi of the same binary tree. So construct the binary tree based on, based on those two array that are given, and return the binary tree's root node. So here you can see we have a binary tree like this, right? So we have a pre-order traversal, uh, array and then the in-order traversal array. So in the in pre-order traversal, the order goes something like this, where we traverse the current node, then the left node, and then the right node, right? The order always follow like this. So is it going to be the current node, the left node, and the right node? For the in-order traversal, it's going to be the left node first, and then the right node. Sorry, the left node first, and then the current node, and then the right node. Right, so this is in order traversal, right? So you can see that in the in order traversal, nine uh, is at the left, right? This so three is on is the root node, and nine is at the left of the subtree, um, and fifteen and twenty and seven is on the right subtree. For the pre order traversal, uh, you can see the root is at the first is going to be the first element in the array, and then followed by the left subtree, which is nine the right subtree 20, 15, and seven, right? So based on those two, the goal is that based on those two input arrays, we want to construct a binary tree and we want to return the root node at the end. So how can we do this? So to solve this problem, we know that the root node is gonna be the first element in the pre-order array, right? And uh, based on that, we can just find that root node, which is node three um, in the in-order array, because we know that it says that the uh, the answer must exist, right? So it's guaranteed to be the pre-order traversal of the tree, and the in-order array is going to be guaranteed to be the in-order uh, traversal of the tree, and uh, all values are unique. So based on that, we can just find that element, right? We can just find that element um, in the in-order array. So no three in the in-order array is right here, right? So in this case, what we can do is we know that everything on the left subtree is going to be on the left side of this current node, node 3, and then everything on the right of the array is going to be on the right subtree. And using that information, we can be able to construct the binary tree. And by simply uh, starting from the current node, right, node 3, we build, a node, we build a tree node, and then we're just going to use this information. We're going to build our left subtree, right, is always going to be left and then the right. Right, so left side and then the right side. First we build the left side, and then we build the right side. So the left side is only, there's only the one value, in this case nine, so we add nine onto the, um, so in this case no, root node dot left is gonna be node nine, and the right side is gonna be everything on here, right? And we know that 20 is gonna be the root node of the right subtree, right? The root node of the right subtree, so sub, right subtree is this, right? So the root node is 20. So in this case, the node, node three dot right is gonna be node 20. Then we have to do is we just going to go look for node 20 in the pre-order or I should say in order array. Once we find that element, we're just going to um, be able to determine which node is on the current node's left and which node is on the current node's right. So we know that 15 is on the left side of node 20 and the seven is gonna be on the right side of node 20. So we can just um, we can just be able to add that node, like build a, build a subtree, right? We can build its subtree, and then so on and so forth, right? So the goal is pretty much we're just going to iterate each and every single element in the array and then build the tree. So the time complexity in this case is going to be in. Um, so let's try to see how we can be able to do this in code. So to solve this problem in code. Um, let's try to make those arrays in a global variable. So we're gonna have a global variable called integer array, camel case pre-order uh, array, and then we also have a in order array. I'm gonna say pre-order is equal to pre-order, and uh, in order is gonna be equal to in order array. And uh, we also have the size, which is gonna be the length of the uh, in order array, the length. So I, I mentioned earlier the time complexity is gonna be big O of n. 
where n is basically the number of elements that we have in the array, right? So it doesn't matter which array because they all have the same length. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a um, uh, use a hash table to solve this problem. Now we can also use a like a for loop to to find that elements index in the in order array, but we don't have to. We can use a hash table to store the elements, uh, each and every single element as the key in the in order array, and then the the value of the table is going to be the index in the in order array, so that we can be able to uh, find that element in a constant time on average, right? So we're going to say for each and every single element. So we're going to use a hash table So what we're going to do is we're going to say hash map dot put going to put the in order at i as the key and i is going to be the index right it's going to be the value of the in the table so that we, when we when we want to retrieve the index right uh, in the in order array, we can be able to just pass in the elements value instead of the uh, you know instead of just using a for loop to find an element in a linear time complexity. So in this case, what we're going to do then is we're just going to use a uh, DFS method to build our tree. So uh, we're going to say tree node. Right, so tree node, this will return the root node. Root node is equal to DFS. And basically, we're just going to pass in the range, right? We're going to pass in the range where it's start and where it's end. And uh, we're going to uh, basically do our depth research to build our tree. So in this case, uh, we're also going to have an index. So this index value basically is going to be the index for the pre order pre-order array, right? So we have the D DFS and uh, the starting range is gonna be zero and the end index is gonna be N minus one, uh, which is basically the search range, right? Um, and then at the end, we're just gonna return the root, okay? So now let's try to build our DFS method. So integer start, right? So S stands for start and E stands for N. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with this range, right? All we here care about is the range. If the range is gone, right? There's no more range, then we can just return, right? We can just start, we can just return the uh, null. So it, will, it actually returns a tree node. So what we're going to do is that if, so we're going to define our base case. So once we have our base case uh, done, we're just going to determine and build our tree, right? So build our, build our, uh, build a tree node, build a tree node, right? Build a tree node. Once we build a tree node, we're going to uh, find the index in the in order array for that element. And then once we find that index, just like I talked about before, once we find that index, we can be able to uh, determine which, uh, which element, like the range, for the left subtree and the range for the right subtree, right? So in this case, let's say this is the root node for the right, right? And then we have the left, we have the right, right? So this is basically everything on the left subtree. And this is basically on the right subtree. So we can have like a range, we can just pass down the range. And if that range is gone, we can just, we can just uh, um, search on the search, uh, like traverse the, the other path, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to traverse the left side because in the pre-order traversal is going to be current node left the right right so once we build our tree node we're going to um, like build our uh, traverse the left side right traverse the left side to build our left subtree or i should say just build left subtree build left subtree and then we're going to build our right subtree Right, so once we have our left and the right subtrees is done, we can just return the tree node, the tree node that we created uh, here, right? 
So let's try to define our base case. So our base case is that if s is bigger than e, we can just return null, right? Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to build our tree node. So tree node, so current tree node is equal to tree node, and we're going to pass in a value. So in this case, we have the index, right? So this case, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say pre-order at index, which is going to be the which is going to be the first element in the array, which is no three. So in this case, we have current val is equal to pre-order array at index, right? This will give us a value. And we want to make sure that we increase increment the index by one uh, for the next well before we traverse the left subtree, right? So we pass in the current value for the current tree node. So once we have the root node, right, we, we what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our left subtree. So current left subtree is gonna be DFS, right? We're gonna pass in the starting point which is going to be the start and the end point in the end point is actually going to be the uh, the index right the index for the um, for the in order array for the current root node so uh, in this case we have a midpoint which is equal to um, so it's kind of like binary search right we have like a midpoint search on the left side search on the right side kind of thing so the midpoint is going to be um, uh, the hash map dot git right uh, current dot value or just current just current values fine they're all the same so we get the index once we get index we can determine our range it's going to be mid minus one and the right subtree is going to be the current dot right is equal to dfs mid plus one to the end right so we have a have a range there. And then at the end, after we build our left, our right, we're just gonna return our current node, right? So basically, we're just going to return the current node after we build our current subtree, right? So we have our left subtree build, the right subtree build, and, um, and then our job is done. So let's try to run the code. Okay, so let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the construct binary tree from pre-order and uh, from pre-order and in-order traversal leco problem.